Hello everybody, Grumpy Drock here. Today I am going to be cleaning a particularly dirty patio that's been neglected for a number of years uh, using the Catra K3 in its home configuration uh, as part of my series of videos in the home and car kit. Uh, my two previous videos, the unboxing and assembly and the using the car kit for the first time, a link in the description below. Today we're going to be using the supplied patio and deck cleaner, see how that goes, and we're using the supplied patio cleaner with the spinning device there and of course, Catcher K3 itself. Right, let's get to it. Right, so the first things first is to get the pressure water set, set up. In the last video, you would have seen that I used the foam nozzle that came with the kit for the car. This time, I'm gonna be using the integrated detergent dispenser that comes with Catcher K3. So, I've got the detergent here, and you can see here, the integrated detergent can dispenser is attached to the back of the device so we'll just pull that out and put this uh, patio cleaner straight into the, the detergent dispenser destruction instructions that come with it is that it doesn't need to it or anything when it's used in this configuration so that fills that about halfway three quarters of the way up and slide this back in carefully not spill it and this clear hose just pulls out further as you need uh, one fun thing I have found the kit is this filter falls off the end of this hose, it just a push on very easily. And that just goes in there, and this rubber seal over the top. And that is that secure. Okay, so as the first thing I'm going to be doing is the detergent. I've set the variable ones on, and I have it set to its softest setting. So I've got that spun all the way for me clockwise, and that will sit in the softest setting there. First thing we're going to do though is water's on and get water going through that's just mains water coming through without the pressure washer being on uh, that is critical to not damage the pump on the pressure washer and now turn the pressure washer on and start giving this patio a good soaking with a detergent Right, that's the patio now soaked with the patio and deck cleaner. As you can see, it doesn't foam up as much as I perhaps would have thought. I've been leaving this soaking now for about five minutes. So we will now attach the patio cleaner uh, to the uh, control nozzle uh, and start cleaning the patio. I think we can say that that device works well. See this, this two slabs here have been cleaned. You can see the line of where it went down that one there, and you can see the slight overlap to that one, taking this black um, algae uh, off the, uh, or lichen off the slabs well, and it is taking out quite a lot of the dirt uh, in the joints uh, with the, so the grass and moss that's been growing.
Right, a bit more done. You can see those sort of two lines of slabs being done and the part that hasn't been done. So that just gives you a sort of bigger uh, view of uh, how good this is at cleaning the patio. One thing I have found that's also quite handy, if you use the device sort of on its side, you can use it just to blast out and clean stuff away. Um, we will have to switch the power of on later on, but that's quite useful as well. Uh, just to let, you, to let you see which bits you've done, which bits you haven't. Right, I'm pretty happy with that, looking a hundred times better than it was before, just needs a bit of uh, dirt blasted away. Uh, and then there's final bits to do are, for instance, around this step where the patio unit can't get in. Uh, we will now finish off with the power lance uh, on the unit. So let's get on to that now. Okay, so I'm now gonna attach the power lance. This is a non-variable lance. It's high pressure full time. Um, put it in, as you can see. We'll do that area around the step with a few other small bits that need uh, done that couldn't get done with a patio. Okay, that's the step area clean, as you can see here, and pretty effective, that power lance. Uh, I'm now just gonna put the variable lance back on. You can see um, there is quite a lot of greenery just in this patio door. I'm gonna put the lower pressure on, obviously, because I don't want to damage uh, the plastic with the power, the power lance. So I think I'll set this on the soft setting, so one, and see how that does. Okay, so let's see if I've got this set right. Yes, yeah, so that's on soft, you can see it going up there. Let's just clean this greenery off the bottom of the patio door.
Hi everyone, well final verdict on the Catcher K3 power control uh, with the home kit in use this time. Full bottle gone again as per the car. This is quite a thirsty way of uh, cleaning. I wouldn't recommend this necessarily. I mean, it, it worked from what I can tell, but I don't know how much better it was using this than it would have just been using the patio cleaner itself. I have to say, this is truly excellent. It absolutely destroyed the dirt that was on this patio. Also took out most of the moss and grass that was in the sort of uh, pointing in between the slabs. Uh, and then when I put on the high pressure lance at the end, uh, just to finish off those last bits and pieces and do the detail around the step etc uh, there was no moss left whatsoever uh, in between any of the bits of pointing i think the having the power control i think it's worth the extra investment to get in the power control model over the model that doesn't have that as you saw there when i did that bit of plastic uh, just along the bottom of the patio door to finish off i think you know i wouldn't have been comfortable doing that in high pressure and having that in the low uh, pressure just cleaned off that sort of uh, lichen that had grown there over the winter uh, without difficulty so i think uh, all in all uh, excellent investment thoroughly recommend it to anybody uh, to go for and as you can see i now have a nice clean patio in the background there um, although it has identified i need to do some pointing between the slabs because uh, it's broken up in some bits but i uh, hope you enjoyed these so three vi videos off the uh, power control if you have uh, give me a thumbs up subscribe new channel so every subscription i can get is of benefit uh, and uh, I'll make some more videos of similar things in the future. Thank you.